Hello. Let's try to derive the basic trigonometric identities. Okay. We will do it from a right angle triangle. Here is a right angle triangle. Let me draw one for you. Right. And here, this one is the right angle, 90 degrees. And in a triangle, you know the Pythagorean theorem. It says that let the two sides be, let's say, A, B, and C. Then, what is the relation between them? The relation between them is A square plus B square is C square, right? So they are related like this. A square plus B square equals to C square, right? So that's the Pythagorean theorem. And we are going to use this basic theorem to derive all our identities, okay? Now look here how we do it. Let's start with the first equation. Let's say we rewrite this equation here. Say a square plus b square equals to c square, right? Now, let me divide this by everything by c square. Okay, then what happens? Let's say we divide this by c square, right? c square, we divide this also by c square, and we divide this by c square. So what we did was we had an equation which is called Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square plus equals to c square. That's true for any right angle triangle. So we took this equation and divided both sides by c square. Now, what is a over c? a over c for, let's say this is our angle theta, okay? Now for this, a over c will be cos theta, right? And here we have a over c whole square. So I could actually, let me move on to one more step. I can write this as a over c square plus b over c square equals to 1, right? c square, c square will cancel out. And so you get 1 there, right? Now, what is a over c? a over c is adjacent side over the hypotenuse and we get cos theta, right? If this angle is theta, so we get here cos square theta plus b over c is opposite side over hypotenuse and that is sine theta, right? So we get here sine theta equals to 1. So that is one of our basic trigonometric identity cos square theta plus sine square theta equals to 1. Okay, now let's derive the second one. Now here again we will start with the same equation but this time we are going to divide not by c square but we'll divide by a square and let's see what do we get, right? So if I do that, so I get a squared over a square, I'm dividing everything by a square plus b square over a square equals to c square over a square, okay, right. Now, a over a square is 1, so let me write this as 1. And here, this is b over a whole square, right? So b over a, a, b is the opposite side and a is adjacent, so we get tan theta, right? So this becomes, well, let me write b over a here first, and then we'll jump to the conclusion. And c over a whole square, right? I know, I hope you know where I'm getting to. So it is 1 plus b over a is tan theta, right? b over a, opposite over adjacent, right? Tan theta. So we get 1 plus tan square theta equals to c over a. Now c over a is reciprocal of cosine theta, which is secant theta, right? Secant theta square, right? So we get secant square theta. So that's our second identity, okay? And we can derive similarly. Next time what we will do is, instead of dividing by a, this time we'll divide by b, okay? b square and see what we get. Let's do it here. So we have a square plus b square equals to c square, but I'm dividing by b square, everything. So I get divide by b square, divide by b square, divide by b square, correct? Now a over b, a over b is reciprocal of tan, which is cotangent. So we call this as cot square theta, right? Because it's square plus this is 1. And C over B, C over B is reciprocal of sine theta, right? Which is cosecant theta. So 
a cosecant square theta right so we get three basic identities from here I hope you see how simple the proof is so our identities are cos square theta plus sine square theta equals to 1 1 plus tan square theta equals to secant square theta and cot square theta plus 1 equals to cosecant square theta correct so these are the basic identities and we can always use them in so many trigonometric problems to solve and correlate them okay now we can rearrange and write these identities in many different forms so for example here this identity is very useful and we use it in so many different ways we can write from here what is sine square theta or what is cosine square theta here we can say cos square theta is equals to 1 minus sine square theta right similarly we could write sine square theta as 1 minus cos square theta so you know we can always rearrange these identities and write them in a different form and use for simplifying trigonometric equations and trigonometric functions we will see it in another video right this also we can write this as if I take tan square theta to the other side then I get secant square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1 right so if you see like secant square theta minus tan square theta you can equate it to 1 do you get it? similarly here I can bring this to the other side and I can write this as cosecant square theta minus cot square theta equals to 1 so these are alternate ways of writing the same thing okay and it goes a long way because you know we will do some factoring questions and you know factoring here I can give you some more examples of how these things you will see uh, help you to perform simplification of expressions especially trigonometric expressions for example this equation we can go a step further 1 minus cos square theta if you use difference of squares it could be written as 1 plus cos theta times 1 minus cos theta do you understand so you know these are different ways of writing the same thing if you get 1 plus cos theta times 1 minus cos square theta then when you multiply them you get difference of squares right which is 1 minus cos square theta and from there you can get sine square theta you know and sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so this way you can really uh, you know simplify expression by a large extent to okay? care so try to understand these basic uh, trigonometric identities they are also known as the Pythagorean identities because they are derived from Pythagorean theorem which is a square plus b square is equal to c square okay I hope you understand uh, this this is a very simple derivation but extremely important and these three identities form the foundation uh, and if you have good understanding of these you should be in a good position to do identities okay thank you